Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Tony with Loca Bricks, and do you know what that is? That's some evidence of some Prime Day shopping. I'm here with a Prime Day, Amazon Prime Day shopping haul, and I also have a pickup from Bricks and Minifigs, and I, I may or may not have rearranged the Lego room again. Okay, so I picked up two Lego sets on Prime Day, and these sets were heavily discounted. And, uh, well, one of them's in this box and one of them's behind this box. Let's see what's in the box first. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Very low-tech today. I mean, could have got a tripod, I guess. But the, the challenge is what's fun. Good, good, I said, okay. And uh, go across the center. Hopefully it doesn't all fall out on us. La -da -da, la -da -da. The big reveal. Oh, it's upside down. That would have been better if it weren't upside down. But yes, do you know what it is at this point? It's the boutique hotel normally retailing for, this is the upside down body, normally retailing for $229. Uh, we picked it up for $160, one of the modulars. Modular's always popular. And the second Amazon Prime Day pickup, the medieval blacksmith. Got it for $125. This is a retired set. I don't remember what the retail price is, but I know the savings was good. It got pretty banged up in the shipping. Uh, but I do have a second one of these in a really good box. This is a set I want to build, so this will become my builder set. And while we're here at the build table, another prime pickup for the Lego room were these Craftsman Small Part 30 Drawer Organizers. I thought they were going to be a little wider, but uh, I do like them. They're modular, stack stackable, and those were only $17 each, so that was a good pickup. That was Prime Day. I did that online. I also made a LEGO Insiders order to get the gift of purchase that came out and some double points. When that comes in, I will share that with you, but I had to get the new gift of purchase. And then uh, the very same day, I, I hit the streets, and I went to my local Bricks and Minifigs, in Wesley Chapel and I uh, talked to Gabriel over there. Shout out Gabriel. And I, I made a couple pickups over there. First, I picked up enough dark gray plate to make a Mills plate. I do want to make a video on what a Mills plate is and whether I think they make sense and how to make one. Uh, but I specifically needed the parts so that I could do that. Uh, I'll show you in a second what these this this Mills plate pieces are gonna be for. And then while I was at Bricks and Minifigs, I picked up the Death Star Trash Compactor Diorama. This is the only one of the Star Wars dioramas I do not have. And I tend to be a bit of a completist. And so I saw it built at Bricks and Minifigs and it's a really cool looking display. It really makes me want to build these Star Wars dioramas for over at the studio. And so uh, I'm glad to add that to my collection. I am getting ready to travel for 24 days, something like that. And I took the I took the set out of the box and I put it in my suitcase. I might try to build that while I'm traveling. Uh, but let me let me show you what I've done to the Lego room. Okay, this is what it looked like during last week's update. And well, this is what it looks like now. I've completely changed the whole room. This table was oriented differently right up against this window. I wasn't happy with the potential of sunlight coming in on that sets, on all of the sets. And so I wanted to make sure that I had area to walk and I wanted enough room where I could work on the Lego city. I've started to move some things around. I have built some new stuff. Of course, I moved the Daily Bugle to the top platform. And what I've decided for the center strip here is I want to put the Ninjago modulars uh, probably on elevated mills plates, a couple, a couple bricks high. So that's what's going to go there. I think the one thing I finished since last week was the Jazz Club Modular. And that was a really fun build. Uh, of course, great color scheme, a lot of interesting builds on the inside with the dressing room and the tailor shop and the pizzeria, uh, the manager's office, and then the Jazz Club itself. That is a super cool modular. As you can see, I'm still struggling with what to do with the train. Do I even want to train in the city? And then I had a fail when it came to making a video I don't know if you remember, but when I was in Legoland in California, I picked up 12 bags of the Disney 100 collectible minifig. And I was just gonna do a, hey, what did we get in the bag video? I did that, but it, something went wrong with the recording. So they're all out and they're built. 
And out of the 12 bags, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 unique figures, and then two duplicates. Robin Hood's probably my favorite character because of when I grew up, and so I was excited to have that duplicate, and then I get a duplicate stitch. Continuing on, I moved the display shelves off of the corner. I had it set up for the corner, and I just put it flush to the wall there. So that, that kind of works. I had to pull this shelf, which is a mess, out of the closet. Remember, this was all parts, and I've taken the parts and moved them back into the closet. I've got a couple bag of Lego that I need to take to the storage room to make a little more room in here. I put some Lego storage under the table. And then the closet still, I mean, everything really needs some work, but I moved, you know, kind of these part containers into the closet. There's a lot of opportunity for this closet. I can put some shelves in here. I can do a lot more, but basically it's housing parts. I'm kind of excited and sad at the same time. I'm getting to go on a really great travel adventure, going on a brand new cruise ship. Then I'm going over to Europe, uh, going to Greenland, going to Iceland. Uh, that's going to be exciting, but I don't think there's going to be a lot of time for building Lego. I do hope to uh, hunt down some Lego stores in London. So stay tuned for that adventure. But let me show you when I get back what modular I plan to build next. I'm kind of late to this thought process, but I've, I've started to see some of these Ninjago modulars up close. I've already missed two. There's two that are retired already. This one's getting close, I think, to going into retirement, but I thought it would be cool. These, This is a single, I think this is maybe a single base plate or two base plates, but uh, have that elevated there and start working the Ninjago modulars that way. I think that would be kind of cool, but that will have to wait until I return and return I will, but uh, I'm gonna try to upload some stuff along the way during my travels. So make sure that you're subscribed and uh, let me know what you would like to see. That's my Amazon Prime haul, plus a few other things. I would love to hear any of your feedback that you wanna share. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Uh, hit that like button if you could. This is Tony for Local Bricks, and well, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.